In this video, we solve problem 10.2.6 from Essentials of Statistics, sixth edition by Mario Triola. The problem statement says, suppose IQ scores were obtained for 20 randomly selected sets of twins. The 20 pairs of measurements yield X bar equals 103.42, Y bar equals 103.9. We have a linear correlation coefficient of 0.895 and a p-value of 0, 0.000. And the y hat, that is the best, well, that is the predicted value of y using our um, regression equation is negative 21.52 plus 1.21 times x, where x represents the IQ, IQ score, excuse me, of the twin born second. We're asked to find the best predicted value of y given that the born, or the twin born second has an IQ of 108. And we're asked to use a significance level of 0.05. Now this is actually not too difficult at all. We are given the regression equation, we're given the p-value and we're given the alpha value. With p and alpha, we can just compare them and that will allow us to determine whether we have evidence to support a correlation between these two variables. If we do have evidence to support a correlation between the two variables, the best predicted value of y comes from using this equation. If we don't have sufficient evidence to support a correlation between the two variables, the best predicted value of y doesn't come from this equation. It's just going to be the mean value of y or 103.9. Um, so we just need to compare the p-value and alpha well, P is zero, 0, 0.000. There's probably some tiny, tiny probability, but out to the third decimal place, we see a probability of zero. Obviously zero is less than 0 0.05. Since P is less than or equal to alpha, um, we will fail to reject the null, or excuse me, reject the null hypothesis, not fail to reject the null hypothesis. We're going to reject it, which means we have sufficient evidence of a linear correlation between the two variables. That means the best predicted value of y comes from this equation over here. So we're just going to plug the x value that they gave us into this equation because we have evidence of a correlation. To do that, I will share my paper with you. We'll do the arithmetic on paper and then we'll type it into my lab statistics. Sorry, my little toolbar disappeared and I'm trying to get it to show me the toolbar. There we go. So as we just said, we compare P to alpha. P is less than or equal to alpha, so we reject the null hypothesis. So that means we do have evidence of a correlation. And if we have evidence of a correlation, that means the best predicted value of Y comes from using our regression equation. So we're asked for the best predicted value of Y when X is equal to 108. So we substitute 108 here and here just substituting it into the form of that regression equation, and then we do a little bit of arithmetic. I would use my calculator for that. So I have 1.21 times 108 minus 21.52, and that gives me 109.16. So that is the best predicted value of that IQ score. Now, if P happened to be greater than alpha, in that case, we would fail to reject the null, which would mean that we do not have sufficient evidence of a correlation between the two variables. And in that case, we wouldn't do this. We would use Y bar, that's the mean Y value, um, as the best predicted value of any Y value, regardless of what X is. So let's type this into my lab statistics and make sure that they like our answer. So they ask us to round to two decimal places as needed, and that's going to give us 109, oops, 109.16. Okay, they like it. Great.